Hey everyone, welcome back to eLearning Village. I hope you guys are doing good and staying safe. So I am back with another amazing video. And again, it is a continuation of our amazing SQL questions for the interviews. So today I will be discussing an amazing SQL interview question, which was asked by Google when I was interviewing with them for the data engineer role. So we will look at the whole problem statement and we will solve it together. So make sure you watch it till the very end. If you are practicing SQL related questions, I'll be using amazing SQL concepts and you can find the create table definition and the insert statements in the description so that you can quickly create these tables in your local machine and practice this SQL question. And again, I will repeat the same thing. Once you look at the problem input and output, try to write the SQL query by your own, put your solution in the comment section and then look at the my solution. All right. So this is the SQL interview question, which was asked by Google. So I will first describe this whole input output and problem statement and the table name which you can use here will be user activity and in the input what we will be given we will be actually given three columns the date user id and activity so try to imagine any platform right any web application or any android application or ios application where first if you are using it you will do a sign up and after that you can log in into it and you can perform multiple activities so here you can see multiple user ids few are repeated here and the activity can be anything right so that's why i have given random names to it abc xyz klm something like that because the activity can be of any type even doing a sign up is one activity login into one activity scrolling and selecting product is one activity checkout payment another activities so multiple things are there and now the problem statement is to calculate unique user count for each day by looking at the output i will explain that how this is being calculated so here this date column you can see per day what we need to do we need to calculate the unique user count means in the output this is for sure that one row will be for one particular date okay now what is the concept behind the unique user count so the definition of unique user here if any of the user which we have already seen and we saw some activity related to that particular user in upcoming days so in those days we won't count it as a unique user so what it actually means that on any particular day if a user is coming for the very first time on the platform then we will calculate it as a unique user count so let me explain it from the input table itself so if we look at the date for 20th feb we can see user 1 and user 2 before 20th feb there is no entry in the table so for the 20th you can see the unique user count will be 2 because the user id 1 and 2 both came onto the platform on 20th february itself and did some activities so these were the two unique user counts on 20th feb because we haven't seen any of the entries related to them previously now talking about the 22 feb so here we can see one entry for user id 1 and second entry for the user id 3 and in the output you can see the unique user count is one why it is one because on 22nd feb we can see user id 3 is unique one is something it has already become the part of platform and previously joined the platform did some activities so i will not count user id 1 as a unique user for 22nd feb because this is the new customer like user id 3 is a new customer for our platform now talking about the 24 feb here you can see user id 1 user id 2 and user id 3 these three user ids you can see the output on 24 feb will be zero because we have already seen entries for these user ids and they have already become a part of our platform that means no new customer on 24th feb so first now i will explain the solution and after that i will write a query and will execute it in my local machine to crack dot do for sponsoring this video so if you are someone who want to crack some top notch product based companies for different job profiles like front end development back end development full stack development and you are lacking in the technical skills and didn't get any chance to work on real world projects then this should be the go to resource for you to crack dot do is actually helping students and working professional to acquire latest tech skills by working on real world projects which are actually created by the companies itself so here you can see some amazing stats average super dream job ctc 22 lpa 
टू फोर्टी प्लस हायरिंग पार्टनर्स आर अवेलेबल हेयर सो हेर यू कैन सी ऑल दो फोक्स हू एक्चुअली इनरोल डेम सेल ऑन क्राइड डॉट डू प्लेटफॉर्म एंड लैंडेड इन टू देयर ड्रीम जॉब फ्री ट्रायल इज अवेलेबल फॉर एवरी थिंग यू कैन गेट दी फ्री ट्रायल एंड वेन यू आर सेटिस्फाइड देन यू कैन इनरोल हेयर एंड ऑल्सो आई हैव प्रोवाइडेड वन स्पेशल लिंक इन दी वीडियो डिस्क्रिप्शन मेक शो टू चेक दैट आउट यू विल बी गेटिंग सम एक्सक्लूसिव एंड अमेजिंग ऑफर्स देयर एंड हेयर इज दी स्मॉल ग्लिम्स ऑफ रियल वर्ल्ड काइंड ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट लाइक बिल्डिंग नेटफ्लिक्स काइंड ऑफ ओटीटी प्लेटफॉर्म बैक एंड डेवलपमेंट फॉर दी जोमैटो एप्लीकेशन इंटायर डिटेल इज मेन्शन हेयर including the duration tech stack and the kind of projects you will be working here full stack development program back end development program and similarly there are two amazing very extensive and job guaranteed programs as well fellowship program in software development masters program in qa automation after completing these programs there will be a placement guarantee which is the best part of it and as soon as you will click on the link which i have provided in the video description you will be landed on this home page where you will receive a special gift from my side and as soon as you will unlock it you can use the promo code to get the extra discount plus a scholarship free guide to product based company interviews free guide to best resumes and free guide to mini projects for example like online whiteboard complete information the skills concept tech stack needed duration and references as well you can definitely create it so what are you waiting for start your journey with cryo.do use the link in the description for exclusive offers and coupons and also book your free trial right now here the solution part is something which is not very very complex to understand and it is using a very very basic concepts of the group buys so here if anybody sees this kind of question for the very first time now you know for each day you need to calculate unique user count so now you will directly focus on the date column that yes something we need to do around the date column and that is correct right at the end we need to calculate things for the date column but the most trickiest part of this problem statement to check the previous records for any particular user id let's say for the 22nd of feb i want to calculate the unique user count so for user id 1 and 3 how i will be doing a look up for the previous days how will i check that this user id has already visited my platform okay so this is the main catch here so our focus now needs to be shifted on the user id that for this user id how i am going to do a look up so the most logical way to find unique user count for each day if by any chance we can eliminate this entry right if we can eliminate this entry then we will only left with this one right that user id 3 on 22nd feb and i can easily do a group by on date and i can calculate it so now the question is how we can eliminate these entries and the best answer for that will be why not to keep the oldest entry for each user id in the intermediate table and then do a group by so oldest what we can say the first entry first entry in this entire table for each user id if somehow i am able to pick that one then i can easily calculate the unique user count now i will just show you the intermediate output and then applying the group by how the output will look like so what i said for let's say user id 1 right we can see three entries this one this one and this one right so among these three entries so which one will be the oldest one this one because 20th feb was the day when we saw first activity from the user id 1 so this is the most oldest entry for user id 1 that means i only want to pick this one right now let's look at the user id 2 for this one one entry on 20th feb and another entry on the 24th feb right so which one is the first entry for the user id 2 this entry right so we are clear for the user id 2 as well now talking about the user id 3 we can see these two entry this one and this one right and which one is the first or we can say the oldest one this one so that means we need to pick this right and now i can easily do a group by on the date one and i can easily calculate the unique user count right very very easy to calculate so let's do a group by on this date right 20th feb right 20th feb we did a group by and we will get a count 1 and 2 right so our count will be Two, very easy now if we do a group by on 22nd feb right we will get how many counts we will get only one right because this is the only entry for the 22nd feb now the interesting point comes like we need to 
शो दी जीरो यूनिक यूजर काउंट इफ देर इज नो न्यू कस्टमर ऑन एनी स्पेसिफिक डे एंड दैट वॉज द रिक्वायरमेंट सो आइडली फॉर ट्वेंटी फोर्थ फेब इट शुड बी जीरो बट द इंटरमीडिएट आउटपुट विच वी हैव क्रिएटेड देर इज नो एंट्री फॉर ट्वेंटी फोर्थ फेब सो हाउ वी कैन एक्चुअली पॉपुलेट दिस वन राइट सो द आंसर इज अगेन इजी फॉर इट This is your intermediate output. So after computing this intermediate output and doing the group by operation, I can simply take a distinct of this date column and then doing a left join with this intermediate aggregated output. So in that way, I will be able to get all the distinct dates in my output. And wherever join was successful, I will populate the count value. And wherever join was not there, means no entry in the aggregated output for the distinct date. i will definitely consider it means that particular day there was no new customer and i will simply populate it with the zero so that is the simple trick and simple explanation for this question and to save our time i have already written down the solution i will now explain this solution step by step so that you can also understand that what is happening so first i will start with this part which is like common table expression you can see because it is a with clause so anybody who don't know about the common table expression or the with clause make sure you give a read about it then it will be helpful to understand now in the with clause what we are doing we are using or we are actually like creating this intermediate table named as user login like with this table name and what will be the definition for this table name this section like whatever query we will be writing under this parenthesis that will be a complete definition for this user login table right and in the explanation part what i explain like we need this sort of intermediate output so that we can perform some group by operation on it so in order to get it we are doing this part so here you can see select star comma we are deriving one more new column and that column is simply row number over partition by user id we are trying to create the chunks for the user id and we are using date column for the order by right arranging them in the ascending order so that we can pick the first one right and we have given a name to this derived column as a sequence number and this operation we are doing on the user activity table so this is sort a temporary sub query you can say or inner sub query right where we have derived this sequence number kind of field and we have given a alias name to it and after that this is you can say the internal sub query and what we are doing we are performing a select star on this intermediate output where we have already calculated the sequence number and that sequence number should be equal to the 1 means we are picking the first record so after deriving if i write the numbers let's say for your understanding for user id 1 it this record will be given rank 1 right and for user id 1 this record will be given rank 2 and for this record user id 1 will be given rank 3 and for user id 2 this record will be given rank 1 and this record will be given rank 2 and for user id 3 this record will be given rank 1 and this one will be given rank 2 so after that what we are doing we are applying a simple filter just pick all those records where sequence number is equally to 1 so that's the intermediate output we have already prepared which is user login now i will explain this part the main part and here actually there are two sections first which i talked about like taking a distinct dates from the user activity table itself so that at the end we can join it with the aggregated output in order to get records for those dates as well where no new user was there so that we can populate it with the zero for that you can see just come to this part right here you can see the involvement of two intermediate tables t1 and t2 so what is the definition for this t1 select distinct date from the user activity right now what is the t2 right t2 is our actual aggregated output because here if you see we have this one and on this intermediate output i can simply apply my group by operation and that's what we are doing here select date take account star as unique user count from user login this intermediate output group by on date column right so this output we have prepared and that is named as t2 
and this output we have prepared and that is named as t1 and what we are doing we are performing a left join on t1 and t2 table and the column for the join will be date column t1 dot date equals to t2 dot date so here on the left side we have all the distinct dates means this is the data set where number of rows will be higher and this is the smaller data set because there could be some dates which are not present on the left hand side right so that's how we have done it and now in the select operation you can see how we are actually even populating that zero part once that data will be joined this table and this table will be joined right from the left hand side obviously there will be few records and for our use case like the date which is 24th feb it is present on the left hand side but it is not present on the right hand side after doing the group by operation so obviously the t2 dot date column will be null for the 24th of feb date okay so that is the concept we are using in order to populate this unique user count value so in the select operation what we are doing we are picking all the dates from the left hand side table that is t1 dot date and then we are applying a simple case statement like case when t2 dot date is null that means any date value which is present on the left hand side but no value on the right hand side that means there was no unique user count on that particular day in that case t2 dot date will be null so t2 dot date is null then assign value 0 to it else simply whatever we have calculated in this aggregated output we would assign that similar value to this column unique user count right and that's how our main output will be calculated okay so that is the simple explanation part i hope that is clear to you very easy to understand very basic concepts are being used join operation group by operation window function and the common table expression nothing complex so now let me copy this query and i will simply execute it on the terminal so this is the table i have already created and this definition and the create table definition will be in the description box you can copy it and quickly execute it so here i have pasted my solution and now if i hit the enter button right you will be able to see the output which is actually we are intended to get and even if you can see the problem statement this was the output we were expecting for 20th feb unique user count should be 2 for 22 it should be 1 for 24 it should be 0 right and that's what we are getting here so this is the solution part and the whole problem statement and i'm hoping you have first solved this problem statement by your own and then you are watching this solution and let me know in the comment section whether you like this problem statement and how close you were to my solution and don't think that this is the most optimal solution because based on your concepts you might even come up with very very best logic and most optimal solution so try your best and also i am thinking to create same kind of interview experience related questions and very specific to big data frameworks like hadoop spark hive kafka and many others so if you want that kind of video as well where whatever practical questions will be asked in the interviews related to these frameworks and similar to this sql kind of series if you want it feel free to put it in the comment section i will definitely create those kind of videos as well and yes if you are liking these kind of amazing questions make sure to show your love for the channel like this video share it with your friends and if you are new to the channel then hit the subscribe button and press the notification icon as well and i will see you guys in the next week with another amazing video related to the interview experiences till then just stay safe stay home take care of yourself and your family too